We're down to the final three teams in open doubles. We have two of them here on display on table number one as we bring you the open doubles losers bracket final. That's Tony Spreiderman and Robert Mares on the left side of the table. They lead 2-0 here in game number one over Sergi Aragonis and Ken Lowe, who are on the right side of the screen. The winner of this one will advance to the finals to face Ryan Moore and Bob Diaz. Yeah, and Sergi gets his team on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. Aragonis and Lowe out of uh, the Bay Area in Northern California. Tony Spreidman also out of the Bay Area, but this one near Tampa in Florida. Robert Mara is not from a Bay whatsoever. He's from Aurora, Colorado, which is a, a large suburb of Denver. Two one lead early on for Spreidman and Mara is one of the the two big pre-tournament favorites. Of course, the other awaits the winner of this one in the Open Doubles Final, and that, of course, is Ryan Moore and Bob Diaz. Pass attempt by Mars, intercepted by Aragonis and Lowe. And dug out here after the steal by Spraderman, who will shoot against Kin Lowe, looking for a 3-1 lead. Trying to go back to that far side. Lowe there to take it away. catch here by Tony Spreidman. His quick hands get him several extra possessions during the course of a match. But Kin there to block it up into the air and off the table. We'll put it back into play. Kin fires that one into the goal. One just wide and then dropped in. A lot of follow through on that shot. An official was at the table. I'm not sure that wouldn't have been, have been called a recoil. But it's 2 2 here in game number one. Here's Lowe again. And back with a shot down the middle. Sprayed him and hustled after it. Couldn't grab it. Then it's gently poked forward by Aragonez, who's got a chance to give his team the lead right here. Yeah. He does. Come on. It's 3 2. Okay, Spraydeman's pass attempt. Mares gathers it in after it was blocked back towards the goal. And Mares able to stroke home that pull kick. Such an effortless stroke that Robert Mares has yep. on that pull kick. It barely looks like he hits it, but he gets plenty of power behind it. And of course, depth as well. Tony tried a quick left hook, fanned on it, and gets it back. One well, of the very slow passing series here, as you can see. Not the usual Tony tic tac. It does stick the lane pass. Looking for the lead, sprayed him in. Try to come near side, taken away by low. Kin has done a good job defensively against sprayed him in so far in this opening game. Timeout. That's one we got both. Yes. Yep. Okay. Set. Yep. Sergi Aragones yep. will put the ball back into play on his five roll. We're tied up at three here in game number one. Aragones able to pick this one up off the back wall. Serge will set it up and look for the lead, shooting against Robert Mares. And he finds it. It's 4 3. Come on. Right, 
Tony again sitting still, tries to go along the wall. Aragon is with a block. Interesting choice of passing systems used by Tony Spraderman in this opening game. Not something you see him do very often. He looks to tie it up at four, and he does, as he fakes one way, then comes back the other to the near corner, and it's 4-4. Aragon is able to pass it through, and he'll set it up looking to win game number one. Sergi Aragonis. <laughs> Taking a lot of time, and then calls a second and final timeout. Robert Mars will defend against Sergi Aragones, who puts the ball back into play. Looking for a first game win, Aragones. Try to come near side, that one spun. And Tony Spraderman will play it where it is, and that's on his three row. Now Tony can put away game number one. He'll call timeout. Ready? Yep. Tony Spraderman putting it into play, looking to close out game number one. Aragonis had a shot, but spun the raw. The ball came back to Tony, who sets it up. Trying to go back to that far side low. Keeps it out and holds on to the rebound. Kin setting it up, lower right-hand corner of the table in push position. Kin fires that one down the middle, sprayed him in with a rebound. 4-4 here in the first game, it's a loser's bracket final of open doubles. And Aragona steals it away. Tony continuing to go with the non-tic-tac style of passing. Aragones will tick tack on the near side. Tried to brush it down, stabs it forward towards the goal, dug out by Mares. And Robert will call a second timeout. Mares puts the ball back into play. Folks, that one down the middle on goal. Sprayed him in there to grab the bouncing rebound. And his second chance to put away game one, and he does. Sprayed him and Amarez hold off. Aragonis and low in that first game. They lead one game to nothing. will put the ball into play, opening up game number two. Quickly going through the lane, he'll have the first scoring opportunity from snake shot position, quickly tried to come to the near side. Mares is there to take it away, and you, you kind of get a sense of somewhat of a blown opportunity in that first game for Aragonis and Lowe as Mares executes that sliding pass that he likes to use. Sprayed him and grabs it on the three rod and strokes it home near side. When you have chances against a great team, you have to take advantage of them. Sergi got the shot that he wanted and then simply didn't execute it. And then Spraderman was able to eventually put in that final point. But they had a shot. Tony Spraderman now looks for a 2 nothing lead. And he finds it. So he hammers that far side of the goal. Again, Aragonis and Lowe had opportunities in that first game. And Tony Spraderman and Robert Morris are firmly back in control of this match, it would seem. Up 2-0 here in the second, already up one game to nothing. Tony stick in the lane. Back to the near side, low with the block, comes back with a pull kick. Went wide of the goal, but I think low might have been there anyway. Yes. 
And Tim able to fire that one into the goal. It's 2-1. Sprayed him in smoothly along that outside wall. Tony started to heat up on the five with this different passing series. And he remains hot on the three as well. As he strokes that one home, it's 3-1. Sergi can't connect on the pass. one nothing lead in games, 3-1 lead here in the second. Favor of Spredeman and Mars. Again, that pass, if it isn't caught on the three row, is still generally going to clear the zone. You saw it there end up on the five of Spredeman. Very high percentage play when executed properly. Something that Robert Mares and Tony Spredeman have utilized very effectively over the last couple of years. is able to pick this one up. And fire it home. It's now 3-2. And Tony has it stolen by Serge. And it's 3-3. Yeah, might have been the best shot of the match right there for Aragonis. He really hammered the back of the goal with that snake shot ever. Straight him in again with a stopped ball series. Aragonis with a block comes back to Mars, and suddenly it's 3 3, but another beautiful catch on the three row by Tony Spraderman. And Spredem and Amaras are back on top. That little hitch to the near side, and that shot down the middle Ready? by Spredeman. That's 4 3. Winner of this one will face Moore and Diaz. Sergi needs this one. Amaras is there and then stabs it along the outside wall. Great play by Amaras. Spredeman will give his team a two games to nothing lead right here. The corner low, I think, got a piece of it. Kendall set it up. What a great play that was by Mars to make the block and then stab that hard pass immediately. Another nice pass here is Kin Low able to connect with his partner Sergi Aragonis, who sets it up. And calls timeout. Aragonis to tie it at four. Yeah, he does. Serge Aragonis with a big shot here. Or even up at four. It was 3 1 in favor of Spreadman and Mares. Aragonis in low, tied it at three. Spreadman put his team ahead, and now Aragonis has evened it. Got Tony crisply through the lane. Chance here once again for Tony to win the second game. Aragonis. Watches as Spredeman, shot attempt, taken away by Lowe. In Lowe, fortunate to get this one back. And Aragonis picks this one off. So Sergi's got a chance to win game two. Let's see what he does here. He sets it up. Strokes it home to the far side. It's one game apiece. <laughs> Tied up at a game apiece. Tony Spredeman puts it into play and then flicks that far side wall pass. Sets it up and strokes it home near corner. Just like that, it's one nothing. Ready? Yep. A 
conceivably it could be two games to nothing in favor of Aragonis and Lowe if just hypothetically if Sergi instead of spinning the rod on that 4-4 effort in the first game puts it in the back of the hole and comes out with that same effort in that second game who knows but it is one game to nothing rather one game apiece Spraydeman looking to make it 2 nothing here in the third Low there to make the stop. Ken has notched a couple of scores in the first two games from this position. Tries a push kick here, spread him with a block. up the loose ball. And it's 2 nothing. As Tony whips that far side snake shot into the back of the goal. Aragonis, possession on the five. We'll call timeout. Good. Right. Up first. Okay, ready. Thanks. Sergi yeah. puts the ball into play. Taken away by Tony Spredeman. Not sure the reasoning behind Tony Spredeman's choice to go with a more of a set far wall series. It's not comfortable tic tacking or just experimenting with something a little different, although we have seen him use this style before, and sometimes he has used it on some of the uh, European style tables that he's played on overseas. And he's fairly effective with it. Of course, I don't think anyone would imagine that he could be as effective with that series as he is with his tic tac. His tic tac series is a dominant 5 0 series, of course. Tied up at a game apiece. 2 0 lead for Spreadman and Mars here in game number three. Winding things down here in Las Vegas. This is the loser's bracket final of open doubles. Spreadman again picking up the loose ball. Tony comes back down the middle. Have you look closely at the end of the table there, the man in the, the hat, that is, of course, David Vick. And just to his left, that's Lewis Cartwright. A great player from right here in Las Vegas who is retired. Former world champion in singles and doubles. And Serge. Able to stroke that one into the goal. It's now 3 1. Tony has it knocked away by Aragonis. Comes back to Mares. Robert oh. zigzags oh. one down the table into the goal. It's 4 1. So he takes his time and then cuts that one back. It's 4 2. Don't 
And Aragonis is going to call a timeout. Four two lead here in the third game for Spreadman and Mares. Tony goes wide with the pass, but it makes off the back wall right back to him on the five row. Again low. Kicks out the rebound. Quick pass near side. Grabbed by Aragones on his five row. Third bounce pass. Knocked towards the goal by Spreadman. Rolls to a stop. Low will put it back into play. Sends that one up the table, where it's retrieved by Aurora Colorado's Robert Mares. Shot down the middle by Robert. Aragonis, who has fought and fought in this match and played very well. Fiery player out of San Jose, California. And again, low, pounding home that push shot. And suddenly it's 4 3. Tony sprayed him and will put it back into play. Tony and Rob now just up by a goal here in this third game. And Tony able to crisply go through that lane. Chance to give his team a two games to one lead here, shooting against Kin Low. Tony sprayed him. Come near side, low with the block, but it comes back to Tony. Resets. Tried to go back to the far side, low with the block, and the nice save. Solid goalie back there. He's blocked well, he has scored well. That one down the middle bounces up into the air and off the table. Robert Mares will put it back into play. near side, stabbed off that back wall by Spreidemann, and Tony able to dig it out. His third chance to win this third game. Spreidemann. Goes back down the middle, and Low is there again. Pass attempt by Spreidemann. Second one, back and forth and around, and eventually grabbed by Mares. And off the outside wall goes Mares into the goal. It's two games to one. Yes. Yep. Aragon is putting it into play, opening up game number four. Spread him into Mares. Back in control here in this matchup, a game. Aragonis will have the first scoring opportunity. Yeah, and he on. strokes that one into the goal. Continuing right. to shoot the ball really well. Spreidman coming right back. Tony fires it home to the near corner. You can see Tony with a bit of an edge right now. Energy level has spiked just a hair. That one really got rolling smooth or slowly, and then Aragonis smoothly brushed it through the lane. Sergio. Yeah. There's that one down the middle. So Sergio Aragonis has given his team the lead at 2 1. Tony oh, sprayed him. Snaps off that lane pass. He has gone back to the Tic Tac series. And fires that one home to the far side. It's 2-2, and we've got a switch. Yep. Mara's to forward. Sprayed him in back there defensively. Mara 
Jaguars with a couple of blocks on the five. And another, and a steal, and a timeout. Tony steps back into the forward position and puts it into play. We're tied up at two here in the fourth game. It's two games to one in favor of Tony Sprademan and Robert Morris. There's the tic-tac bounce pass. And this is the Tony Sprademan we've become accustomed to. The energy level is up. But get low there to make the block. Sprademan rebound. Resets, comes back with a pull kick up into the air and off the table. Get low. Really playing well back there. Impressive performance by Lowe in that goalie position. Kent fires that one on goal. Mares just wide of the goal with that effort. Aragonis is able to retrieve it. Surge can't hold on to it after Spradman got a piece of it, and it comes back to Morris. Pass near side, intercepted by Aragonis. And Surge can give his team the lead right here. Sergi Aragonis trying to go to the far side, and Morris there to block it. Haven't heard from Robert offensively in quite a while. He feels like he might be due. He's known for hitting big shots when you need them. That one down the middle off a man into the goal. So there you go. Quick shot blocked by Morris. It's 3-2 in favor of Tony Spreadman and Robert Morris. They're up two games to one as they look for a rematch against Ryan Moore and Bob Diaz. But Sergi Aragonis and Ken Lowe have been tough. And Sergi again. Well, a stroke home the snake shot. It's 3-3. Spreadman for the lead. Spreadman. Tried to come back to that near side and then tried to grab the rebound. Couldn't do so. And this is Ken Lowe now in possession. Ken along that near wall, just looking to clear it or pass it. And a nice steal here by Aragonis after Tony tried to go with that quick wall pass. Brushed down effort. Aragonis can't connect. Here's Morris. And Robert's going to call timeout. Ready, boys? Ready? Robert Morris puts the ball back into play. It's 3 3 here in the fourth game. Robert, short side slicing pull shot effort blocked by the five rod of Aragonis. Comes back. To Morris. Robert banks it off the outside wall. Lowe keeps it out. Kim again firing it on goal and then knocks back into the goal. Tough break there for Aragonis and Lowe in its match point for Sprademan and Morris. Attempt by Aragonis. He's fortunate to get it back here. Sprademan. A couple of blocks here against Surge's five row. But Aragonis is able to brush this one down. Chance to even it up at four here in the fourth game for Sergi 
Aragones, and he does. Aragones and Kinlo have been tough. They have played extremely well in this match. And that would knock back towards the goal kept out by Mares. Robert. See what he chooses to do here. He's going with that slider down the middle, and again, it works. Sprademan probably going to use a timeout here. Don't think he's going to shoot the pull shot, and he does. Ball put back into play by Tony Sprademan, who's got an opportunity here to win the match. And he looks like he's going to shoot the pull shot after all. Trying to go to the straight hole. What an interesting choice in this situation by Sprademan. And we've got a timeout. Tony Sprademan goes with a pull shot on 4 4 in the fourth game. Ken Lowe putting the ball back into play. Ken has shot the ball extremely well throughout the match from this position. Pass near side off a man into the goal, and we are headed to a fifth and final game. Tony Sprademan will put it into play on his five row. Into the tic tac and then turns it over. Do you think I really got you? Man, I, don't, I don't think I got you. Think, yeah, I don't think Tony looked across the, the table. The and Serge. Serge doesn't okay. think he did. And it might be an official for Sergi to give him the ball here. <laughs> you don't want to give Tony anything to work off of. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Well, Serge says he didn't jar and he's going to put it into play here after the conversation. Pass along the wall. Bounce pass through the lane by Aragones. Sergi will set it up looking to get on the scoreboard first. Quickly tries to go to the near side. Might have been a good time to take a little more time on that possession. Mares takes it away. But Aragones takes it right back. Aragones finally gets it set. And strokes it down the middle. It's 1-0. Sergi Aragonis and Kinlo leading 1-0 here in the fifth game. Pass down the middle by Spredeman. Tony will set it up, looking to even it up, and he does with that quick set flip over that he loves to use. And when he uses it, it works about 90% of the time. And taken away here by Aragonis. Kick effort here. Picked up by Aragonis. Tied up at one here in the fifth game. Surge has a chance to give his team the lead. Tried to go to the far side. Rebound comes back to him. Surge is getting opportunities here in game five. And he takes advantage of this one, stroking it home to the far side, playing with great confidence. Sergi Aragones and Ken Lowell have taken the lead here in this fifth game. Sprayed him smoothly along the outside wall. Tony to tie it. Walking it around. And come back to the near side, Lowell with a block, and Aragones with the rebound. Sergi fires it home, far side. It's 3-1. 4-4 Ready? Ready? Four, four in the fourth game. Tony Sprademan went with a pull shot for the first time. 
and comes back with a left hook here. It's 3 2. Mares will move to forward. Sprayed him in back there defensively. And Aragonis is going to get a chance to shoot against Tony. He's going to get a chance to move his team within one. If he uses a timeout here, shooting against Spredeman, Aragonis has that one blocked up into the air and off the table by Tony. So Tony stays back there. Here's that he will. Pass attempt near side by Spredeman. And Aragon is able to pick this one up. Surge does have timeouts. Probably should use them. Aragones calls timeout. Tony Sprademan staying back there defensively as Serge Aragones puts it into play, looking for a 4-2 lead here in the fifth game. Aragones. Jokes hit home. It is match point for Serge Aragones and Ken Lowe. Sprademan back to forward. Tony through the lane. He'll set it up looking to pull within one. Sprademan. Oaks it deep to that far corner. It's 4-3, and again, the switch. It is match point for Aragonis and Lowe. Ready? And remember, it is win by two in the fifth game. Aragonis tries to go along the wall, blocked by Mar. Second time, he gets it through. Aragonis can win it right here and send his team to the finals as he sets it up against Tony Spredeman. And strokes it home. Serge Aragonis and Ken Lowe upset. Tony Spredeman and Robert Mares to advance to the Open Doubles Final here at the 2013 Hall of Fame Classic. Wow. You don't think